Hey everybody, I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. Happy Friday! Yeah. Well, we've been talking about Connected Life all week long, and we've gotten some great feedback from these guys, some great responses from you guys, and uh, let's talk about the future now. What is the future of IPTV? That's the silver bullet. I mean, we've got cable companies and we've got all these satellite providers, but IPTV is, is the future. It means, you know, anyone with an internet connection can get television. It's going to take an act of Congress, I mean, quite literally, I think, to right. open that up, to make the gatekeepers open their gates and let everybody in. And you'll probably see something in between, like, I mean, for instance, Google I mean, got a little bit of trouble with Google TV because they try to go around the cable companies, and it's one reason why they kind of got blocked. Mm -hmm. Microsoft seems to be doing this other way where they're working with the cable company, so you won't cut the cord. It's just going to augment that system. How do you define internet TV? What about YouTube? Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Netflix is definitely bigger. I mean, House of Cards was probably one of the best series to come out in recent history, let alone something based off the internet. Isn't content king? Do we even care if the cable companies and big network providers come along, or are they just dinosaurs? I got rid of cable and I just stream shows is because I don't want to watch commercials anymore. I can get through two to three times the amount of shows I yeah. do, and now when I watch commercials, I feel like I'm wasting my time and like, it's just, it doesn't work with my model anymore. Well, but Hulu Plus is really big, and yeah. they still have commercials. Yeah, but it's uh, it's definitely a lot less. It, it's, yeah. you know, it's only a couple minutes here and there, and so I, I don't find I won't it, watch it for that reason. It, they've oh, increased, really? I, I don't know if, if you've watched it in a while, but they've increased the number. It'd be nice they, if you could I get a lot of commercials. Okay. Right. I but, will not pay for that online plus commercials. Would you watch TV on your watch? Oh, for a sure. lot of people are making smart watches these days. No. no, no, too small. I'll, I'll watch iTunes on my iWatch for sure. That was very <laughs> like. Mm. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Everything dropped off when you mentioned smart watches. It That's really did. Wow. But, but does it have a future? I carry a phone. I sit in front of a TV. I have clocks on my cable boxes. I mean, there's just absolutely no reason in 2013 to wear a watch. A lot of people have bought tablets now who never use traditional computers and they use smartphones, but there's still a class of people for whom even a phone or a tablet is too much. All they want is something really basic to do a few smart things. And for them, the watch will be it. They don't need the phone and the watch will fit that last sort of mile towards mainstream audiences. It seems to me that smart watches are also covering people who are constantly, who have their hands full. For instance, you have kids, Phil, being able to look down at a text message from your wife saying pick up the milk when you're at the store or something, I... that solves a big problem, no? It's a lot easier to ignore our spouses when they're in our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> a better excuse for you there? A little bit. Yeah. Perhaps Apple might be able to pull it off because they do have sort of a, a you know, style to them. Focus. You know, Microsoft is rumored to be working on this again, even though they worked on it years ago with their spot watches. And so they're coming back to it, but perhaps the technology is able to be shrunken down now. They can add more sensors, but it's really come down to design. I try to embrace all technology. I've bought digital watches before and smart watches. Calculator watch. Calculator watches. But I mean, I like mechanical watches. I don't really want to wear a battery on my wrist. What if, what if you had a smart watch that was really Dick Tracy style, I mean, like futuristic video cameras, all that, and it had a name, Jarvis, and it was connected <laughs> to your house, your car, and your suit. Where is Tony Stark's house? Well, so, so that's the thing, like we think about this now, but the original iPhone kind of sucked compared to the iPhone 5. The original iPad really sucked compared to the iPhone 4. The first watches that come out are gonna be terrible. Yeah. We'll love them because we're geeks in their technology, but four years from now, this is the future, five years from now? And we haven't even mentioned glasses yet. Google Glass right. is... Yeah the big thing this year to talk about. There are going to be lots of little competitors. I, I think folks are getting a little too excited about Google Glass as a platform. It's going to be very V1. It's going to be very dev-centric, I think, and not consumer -centric. It's going to be a cultural thing. A smartwatch right. is something like you can wear, you're kind of a geek. It's like wearing the Nike Fuel Band right. or a Fitbit sure. where you'll stick out a little bit, but it won't have a stigma to it. Google Glass is already catching a lot of controversy from, because from people who have never even touched well, no, it. But well, no, Glass holes is a meme now already. Right. Because of the, the photography ability, it mm -hmm. steps up. You won't be able to wear it in the gym. You can't wear it on military bases. You can't wear it to work. You won't be able to movie theaters, concerts. So there's going to be a lot of areas where you won't be able to wear it, and where places where you are wearing it in public, you're going to catch some strange looks. And in New York, I'd be a little bit worried personally. Well, where do you guys think the future of connected? 
life life is <laughs> that was a great week thanks for sticking with us come back next week for even more yep and until then i'm john p i'm callie lewis bye bye guys <laughs>